Hello, my name is Ashley. Welcome back to my kitchen again. Today I want to prepare you very delicious chicken paprika, which is Hungarian. So uh, I want to show you that uh, first of all, which I already prepared the chicken, which is uh, it's a little thighs, the chicken thighs. What did I do is I put about like maybe four tablespoon olive oil and then the chicken because it has its own skin. So you put the skin down, you warm the oil and you put the skin down and the chicken, it leaves its own oil. So you don't need to put too much oil. After it makes a little bit red color, like you see, the pink color, you take it out and you chop about two head of onion, which it makes about like maybe two cup, about two cup, two, two onion. So you, the, you put in the same oil. If the chicken left a little too much, take it some, some of the oil, all you need about two to four tablespoon left onion. And you see the under from the chicken, it stays all the uh, delicious uh, juices. So you saute this, the onion, about maybe five minutes, six minutes, and then you put the red onion, uh, red bell pepper to give, it gives a little um, nice color and it gives good delicious taste. So you saute this. And I like to add a little extra a green onion, which it makes it really, really tastier. And one little stock of celery. You don't have to, but I just do it because I love the taste in it. So you saute them together about a few minutes, three to four minutes maybe. And then you season it with a little salt. Because it's plenty chicken it is, so you can put about uh, a little one teaspoon salt, if you like less, it's fine. Of course, this is chicken paprika, definitely you have to put, let's measure it. For, I think you can put about about tablespoon, if you want a little bit more, that's fine, that's why they call chicken paprika, it is very delicious taste. So put high heat and make sure that you mix it, of course. It's already, look at how delicious it looks. Smells nice. Definitely taste will be good. Another optional thing, which I would love to put a little tomato paste, which is like, you can say one uh, teaspoon. I took half a tablespoon, which is half a teaspoon, so it is better colored and a little bit cumin as a seasoning. Again, maybe like a half a teaspoon. It already smells so delicious. Look at the color. Definitely it will be tasty. Now that we took the chicken, the chicken leaves its own juices. So you have to put the chicken back in a dish it doesn't matter front back just empty it together spread it there you go now we have to lower the heat less than a medium and you see over here the chicken juice we just add it on And then maybe about maybe about another cup. You put it in a dish because it has a lot of water juices over here. Just mix it and put it on. There you go. It was one cup of water. We mix it in the same dish because it has a lot of juices. Now we mix it and we cover it and we simmer it. It's already like uh, we sauteed the chicken with its own oil. Now we just cover this. We raise it back. The minute we see it's boiling, when you see it's boiling, which is started already, you just turn it down and you simmer it about maybe 
35 to 40 minutes. Now you see it's boiling. I'm going to lower the heat and cover it. And about 35 minutes to 40 minutes, the chicken is ready and it's very tasty. You can see how delicious it's going to look. This, this dish you can eat next to the rice pilaf or if you make, for example, spaghetti uh, pasta, you can put on top of it. It's very delicious. Try it and you will love it. This is Hungarian dish. It calls chicken paprikash. Thank you for watching. I hope you try. Bye-bye.